We are continuing to follow breaking news tonight. Jussie Smollett is out of jail after six days behind bars. A court granted bond as he appeals his conviction for lying about a fake hate crime. Smollett didn't speak to reporters as he walked past the cameras. And WGN's Brona Tumulty is live from Cook County Jail with the very latest tonight. Brona? Good evening, guys. In a dramatic turn of events, and after just six nights behind bars, Jussie Smollett is a free man tonight, at least for right now, an appeals court ordering his release. Pending appeal of his conviction, the condition of that release was that he had to post a personal cognizance bond of $150,000, which required exactly $0 down. He left the Cook County Jail this evening around 8 p.m. without saying a word. Jesse, do you have any comment at all? How does it feel to be free? Can you tell us what the past week has been like? Jesse, can you give any Jesse, comment at all? This is the moment Jesse Smollett walked out of jail months ahead of when he was expected to. Flanked by security, he refused to make any comment, hopping into a waiting SUV, which sped off. But moments later, his defence team spoke out. Describing the moment Smollett learned he'd be leaving Cook County Jail after just six days inside. He pushed his hands on the glass and he was, his eyes got teary, and I've never seen that because he's been very strong in there. And he said, I nearly lost hope in our constitutional system. And he did say that, he did say that. And, um, and it, that was his reaction, he was shocked. I think he had nearly given up. Smollett was sentenced last Thursday following conviction in December on five felony counts of disorderly conduct for lying to police about a racist and homophobic attack that took place over three years ago in January of 2019. Smollett, who is African-American and gay, alleged he'd been attacked by two men wearing ski masks. That soon turned into an investigation of the ex-Empire Star, which revealed he'd hired the Osendaria brothers to stage the whole thing. He's maintained his innocence throughout. This outburst happened in moments after after he was sentenced last week. And not suicidal. On Friday, the actor's attorneys filed an emergency injunction seeking Smollett's release, with his lawyers arguing the 39-year-old was in danger behind bars amid online threats of harm and disturbing phone calls allegedly made to a family member. In this country, you cannot punish a person twice. Tonight, they argued Smollett paid $10,000 and did community service when he was initially charged in this case. Adding he's eaten nothing during his stint in jail, only drinking iced water the last six days, and they also spoke of the next steps in the case. Right now he's out. Uh, we're waiting for further ruling from the appellate court, and we're going to, of course, begin a normal appeal. Right? What we did initially was an emergency appeal, and now we're going to start the will for a regular appeal. Now, the hammer came down harder than many thought it would last Thursday on Smollett. In addition to the 150 days behind bars he was sentenced to, which could have been reduced to 75 days for good behaviour. Judge James Lynn also sentenced him to 30 months of felony probation, ordered him to pay more than $120, $120,000 excuse me, in restitution to the city of Chicago, and he was fined $25,000 as well. You heard his lawyer say there you can't punish a person twice, referring to the early days of this case in 2019. They say they submitted their motions to the appellate court. The court agreed today in a 2-1 decision that Smollett should be released on bond. We did ask where he was headed tonight in that SUV. Uh, it's not clear where, though, he will be staying as things proceed. We're live tonight outside the Cook County Jail. Brona Tumulty, WGN News. Thank you, Brona.